Magic, take action. Magic, yeah. FNM, here this we are. This is going to be a 52 minute match because uh, they started without us. Sons and bitches. This is, this but here we all, are. Uh... Get, to see some, get to see some magic. We get to stream again. It's been a few weeks. Yeah, so we got, uh, we got new cards available. And people are trying to do shit. Yes, they are. We got uh, Brian Williams playing Esper Satoru. Yeah, he's been super excited about that card. A lot of people have. Um, it's uh, it does what it does. I've only played against it once, but the deck I was playing was basically like all removal, so I just didn't care. So it didn't look super yeah. good against what I was playing against, but you know. He described <laughs> it to me as the the new thing. What's the green thing that they just made? Yeah, uh, yeah. it's not exactly that because it dies way. Yeah, easier. that's what I thought. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, I mean, it's, it is on a two three. When was the last time a two three for three was playable? No, it's like it's for two. It's, or it's for two? It's a two, three for two? It's good rate. Okay, the card's is. fine. Okay. I, it's just I like... Take it back. That's that's really good. Yeah. No, it is just that, though. Like, It'll it block is, a monkey. You have to you have to play a creature, and that creature will die. But it depends matchup, you know. I'll if tell you what else a two, three body is good for is blocking the things that Yogg is going to put in front of you until yeah, they kill your thing. For sure. will definitely happen. All right, so so far we've seen usual Yogg start. We've got a cycle troll in Brian's graveyard. Um, not sure what the other card underneath it is. So Brian loves his flickery stuff. So we're definitely going to see some ephemerate. Um, Isaiah is going to eat. If he had plans on reanimating that troll. That's that's gone. Yeah, that's that's out of the picture. Ooh, he can now cycle that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the soul cauldron. One of the best gets for Yogmoth in the last couple of years, man. That card is a card is a house, especially in this deck. Like yeah, combo piece slash graveyard hate. Well, um, it gives them a back door that they didn't have before because they had the yeah. back door of just like beat down, but now they have the back door of beat down and another back door of like, well, all my dudes that would be beating you down are now just grists. Yeah, so and, deal with that. And I feel like uh, living in was like its worst matchup or one of its worst matchups, and so. Like having, having a, just a main deck way to answer some graveyard cards can go a long way. Oh yeah, where is? Okay. <laughs> oh, he did have. Okay. Wow. So Isaiah used the thing at sorcery speed and reanimate did happen. Oh like, shit! That that was a mistake, I think. Yeah, you always want to wait for targets with those kinds of cards. But this Grist is going to be pretty problematic. And so, go ahead and attack it with Solitude and kill it if you really want to. But you're not going to be able to. But I mean, if you did, I'll just yeah, I get two, this old Two removal it. spells will get you there. Yeah, well that's the thing. Like, I they mean, go ahead, but then hmm. Cauldron's just going to get it back. and Or get make another thing a Grist. And really make everything in the deck a Grist. And that's, that's where it gets annoying. I think if you had one removal spell, you could remove the insect and attack Grist and make him choose between the wall and the, the Grist. That could be a. I th I think once pretty solid Soul Cauldron is in play, like you really need to get that fucking thing out of here. Yeah, that's that's fair. I didn't even think about it. He's got two Grist now, huh? He will or, if that or, Grist yeah. if that Grist dies, he'll have two to four to yeah. five. <laughs> he'll have like a million yeah. Grists. It's obnoxious, dude, because that's what happens is he gets to be a Grist. Well, Everything is well the wall right. doesn't count, right? It, it's only things that have plus one, plus Yeah, but one he'll counter. just put a counter on that and then put a counter on the next thing because the Agatha yeah. puts a counter. So it just makes everything whatever Right, but, but I'm saying the wall is has already got two negative one counters, so it's going to be a while before you can really do anything with that. Well, I mean, you just activate the Soul Cauldron and put a plus counter because the... They're not negative negative counters. They're negative O negative one counters. Oh, so they that's don't right. get canceled right. out by math. That's right. I always forget that. <laughs> it's fucking goofy. Yeah, 
it's stupid that, th that that's a thing that we just had to we had to make one card that cares about negative o oh, negative one. Counters. Hey man, <laughs> that shit was like 1996. So like, I'd be fine with its <laughs> with its toughness going into the negatives. I'd, I'd be completely fine with that. It was a different time. <laughs> it was a very different time. <laughs> It'd have been sweet if it was a five five and it was just negative one counters. Right. It'd be like my favorite card ever. Dude, they had weird shit back then. They had Frankenstein's monster, which was like your choice of like plus two, plus O, plus one, plus one, or plus O, plus two counters. Whenever he triggered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucking wacky, dude. Yeah, that is wacky. Super wacky. Get to play, weird shit. Uh... All right, we got a blood artist. This does not look good for Brian. Okay. He's going to need some pretty intense interaction here. He's going to start with a land. I don't think he has. I think he's getting... This is, this is the thing now. I think I think he's gonna. Is he gonna evoke ephemerate? I don't know, cryptic code. Well, don't know what that's gonna do. It could do a lot potentially, depending on what it is. If it's a good card that has an ETB and he has an ephemerate in hand. This is not look good. Yeah, it does not look good. I know what this is. This is a Yogg. And this is infinite Yogg, too. This is, this is where you die. Yeah, this is game over, man. Game over, man. It's game over. I mean, maybe. Unless there's some... He has an ephemerate and there's some really hot shit underneath his He does, his he does not have an undying creature right now. No, but he's got enough to get there. Yeah, all he has to do is draw <laughs> into one. Yeah. But, but I, I, I'm just saying it's not like... Well, or he it's just... Not a, it's not a surefire. If he gets he, a... He could miss from here. If he, get, uh, if he gets Hepatra, that also just makes it go. Hepatra is the 2-2 two, two for 2 that whenever you put a neg counter, you make a death touch snake. Because mm -hmm. then it just... That just carries the combo by itself, too. So... Looks like we uh, cashed in the wall yep. to blow up the thing. Which makes sense. Yeah, you're just losing life in this exchange, Brian. Manny's gonna go ahead and exile the wall to make something else a oh wall. Oh my god, this just makes the most like now everything can put negative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> negative zero, negative one. Oh my god, what what's, a what a disaster. What's so funny? Like Agatha's was... Soul Cauldron does like nowhere near this much in any other deck it's in. Oh yeah. This is such a yog card. I don't even know if it should be in any other deck, honestly. I mean, you see it in Hard and Scale some okay, because it's counters. That, that makes sense. It is good graveyard hate against your opponent. Um, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. that's why that's what I kind of liked about this for the Yogmoth deck, just having a, a main deck uh, way to kind of deal with living yeah. in. It just does so much more yeah. than that. <laughs> even though I still think you're probably a dog, the fact that you just have a new tool for it. Yeah, oh yeah. We're going to get a plus, going to mill, in the middle delighted halfling. If they ever make an insect mana dork, it's over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, if they made any insects that, you, that this deck could play, it would just be, oh, yeah. God. If they made an insect that did literally anything. Anything that has anything to do with this deck, yeah. All right, and we're going to get Idra land there. Where's Yager? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's getting aggressive. Fuck around. Let's see what's under this uh, cryptic coat. I'm going to put that guy underneath. It's probably a land. It's probably not a creature. Oh, it was a persist. Yeah. You should play permanence if you're going to play Cryptic Coat. Because then your ephemerates get better. Because then if it's a permanent of any kind, you ephemerate it and it comes back and it plays a permanent. Isaiah wisely not going to sorcery speed uh, his graveyard hate against the... Uh, yeah. Clear <clears throat> you know, I, just, I guess I just know Brian better. Like... When he did that, I was just like, I don't know if I like uh, doing this. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, Brian could have yeah. reanimate. Like, he does that type of stuff. Now, he's a uh, Brian Williams, 
loves to play. He has absolutely he has, has a, a play style. He has a stuff. Yeah. Everybody does, really. That's the fun thing about Magic is everybody has their play style. Matt Wise is the robot guy. Brian Williams is the white ephemerate reanimate guy. You know, like Isaiah is stuff. now just a whatever. Whatever's the best deck, which is good for him. Yep. So I like controlly stuff, but. Exactly, you're the control uh, guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm the value really, really guy. Really, it's grindy stuff is what I like. I, I don't like... I, I hate playing the decks where, like, I have a window to win, and if I don't win in that window, then, like, I just run out oh, of yeah. stuff to no, do. Oh, yeah. No, dude. That I, is the worst feeling, and I hate that I shit. I gotta grind. Oh, that's the uh, the equipment? Is that the thing? Yeah, I think that's what that is. Oh, I bet there's stone forges in this deck. Yeah, that's the white-blue equipment from thunder junction that exile is a thing when it comes in as long as it's underneath or as long as it's in play and then equips and whatever i think what it's equipped to becomes a copy of the thing that you've exiled so it's, it's an interesting card cool design space i mean of course Curious not... to see what brian has as a follow-up here uh he did get rid of the yog successfully so there's that Oh, this uh, thing again. Another That's coat. Right. The coat. I mean, he's still in, like... This Grist is probably just gonna, like, end the game somewhat soon. Yeah, I, I would assume so. Well, I, I guess... I, I think he can actually... Isaiah's only got two creatures in his grave right now, so that only counts for a couple He, he can attack with everything. Um... Because he's he's got the the dude too, so he, yeah. he gets pings for anything dying. So he can attack with everything here, and then just ultimate grist and win the game, no matter what happens really with this combat. We're going to yeah. You want to keep? Uh, does Brian have creatures? Could, uh... No, I think they're all gone. He it'd be really easy if Brian had a creature in his grave. All right, so we blocked the Blood Artist. There, there's a Death Trigger here. Yeah, and then he just ult ultimates Grist. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Do the thing. You dead. <clears throat> you dead. Yeah, that... Uh, from where we were standing, you just had to do a little simple math and realize that Brian's tapped out. This is over. There's uh, no free card with only, when you only have one card in hand that can get you out of that. All right, on to game two. Isaiah Moser leading in the match. That equipment is pretty interesting. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it yet, but it's interesting they did that. I like exploration and design space. Yeah. Cryptocote has looks good. It doesn't always look good, it, and it's legendary it too, good. right? So, like. The white blue thing, I think so. Oh, 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 I was talking about the Isaiah's thing. The... Oh, I, oh, that thing, yeah, it is legendary. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, you which, which just... I like because then you can't. Just, it like, should, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, it should be legendary. Now, it's funny of all the decks it could go in. This is definitely, basically, because of Gris. Like, it's it's the best deck for Gris. It's the best deck for Agatha Soul Cauldron. Like these two cards just found forever homes in a really good deck. And it made this really good deck, like, one of the best decks. It's powerful shit. I'm trying to finagle, figure out good ways to combat it for sideboard with the decks that I have. Because um, it's not just, ans like, getting rid of Yogg doesn't mean anything. Because they're going to draw a new hand when you get rid of Yogg. Like, that's what's going to happen. That's, that's what happens every time. <laughs> like, cool, I have an exile spell for Yogg. Well, that's cool, I also have seven more cards in my hand. Cool, you killed my Yogg. I drew a Yogg in two cords, so good job for you. So really, like, you just got to kill these motherfuckers fast? Like, just answering Yogg's not enough, not in play. Unless you can just answer everything they play, so when they do stick a Yogg, it's not good. And some decks can do that. Not all decks can do that. It's tricky. It's definitely tricky. I do still hard to counter, hard to kill. Yeah, I do still really. Um, I respect this deck a lot because it is still like pretty interesting. So I, uh, 
There's a lot more of and more, man. The Children's Edict is becoming a yeah, becoming a card. Never thought the edicts would make a comeback, but here we are. Yeah, well, all, all you needed to do was make them a little bit more selective. Another really good card if you are playing blue against this deck is fucking Stern Scolding, man. Stern Scolding literally counters everything in this deck. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I think my my control sideboard plan against it is bring in Stern Scolding, and then if I have extra sweepers, I'm bringing them in to pair with Dress Down. Yeah. Like where you try to get the end of turn dress down, untap, yeah. and wipe your board and nothing comes back. It, 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 dude, it's, it's, if you're playing control and you see Yawgmoth on the other side, it is not a good day for you. Like no, this is, no. This is, you are very, very, yeah. very. They are two for one in you. Like disadvantaged in <laughs> yeah, this matchup. for sure. Uh, I've, been, I've been able to pull a couple of them out here and there, but it is. It's a, yeah, no, a lot of it's about timing, like yeah. what they have. You got to get lucky. What you you got to get lucky. You got to get yeah. that. You got to get dressed down into, into wrath. Yeah. So, you know, and and sure. they can rebuild too. So, yeah. And then they, again, they have this extra plan now where like every, they're going to play a grist and then every derp they play is going to become a grist because it's all called. <laughs> and yeah. then you have to deal with that. Yeah. The most obnoxious thing is when you get to see a Yogg player have exiled a grist and then just have five grists. Mm -hmm. That's when it gets fucking obnoxious. Like, okay, well, plus this one, because it's a grist, make a dude mill a card. Plus this one, plus this one, plus this one, plus this one. And they can just make five tokens a turn on just plussing mm -hmm. their grist, not grists. It's fucking gross, mm -hmm. dude. It's so annoying. Yeah, you know, like, uh, as bad as they've made control with some of the, the speed and stuff that they've put into the modern format, uh, 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 granted, they get, they gave it a lot of tools. I, what what I'm about to tools. ask is definitely something that influences me, and I'm biased. But like the the old uh, like uh, fetchable land that when it enters, if you if it enters untapped, you get to put a instant or sorcery from your graveyard on top. You know, Unban like, that. Like I could see you know in that. You know, like just to That's give actually, a way to like you need some kind of a loop to fight shit I, like that. You know? I don't actually hate and, that. And that now. was the slowest fucking loop ever. Yeah. Like it barely worked. Well. So when it was legal or, you know, one of the, the other things, too, that was happening at the same time that also got banned pretty much the same time. It was Uro. Well, was Field of the Dead. Too. Yeah. Yep. So, like, it got banned amongst amongst that shit getting banned. Yeah. And, like, that stuff's gone. You keep that shit unbanned because that shit is purely unhealthy. Mm. I do. I kind of agree. I think that that would be a good. It's It's fair enough for. The environment now. I mean, it's really only good if you're playing Cryptic Command. Yeah. Like, like you definitely need that, and it's not like Cryptic Command is a good card right now. Now it probably would be. I mean, you would definitely play it, would it get, if that, it if would, that was a legal magic. It would be a higher premium, yeah. But uh, I don't know, man. Is, is it too much to ask that we, we actually have uh, no, I Cryptic actually, Command be a playable magic card in Modern? That seems like a fair... I fair think that ask. card would be fair now. With all the crazy obnoxious bullshit they printed, yeah, I think I mean, that card's more It's actually kind of now. a disadvantage that you could yeah. possibly start have to start off with it coming to play Tapland, you know? It is. Like, and I play the shit out of the white version from that cycle, and, like, as good as those cards feel, like, that is a real thing. There are going to be times where they are going to fuck up your opening hand, and you may or may not have to mulligan. All right, we've got a half Actually, you know from what, John? I, I thought Isaiah. about it. Completely changed my mind, because... Everything in the domain decks are islands, so they just oh. get a free tool, so that it just yeah. becomes not fun. Now and, it's just better it. domain stuff, yeah. Yeah, okay, never mind. Fuck that. Fuck that card. <laughs> <laughs> if it helps other decks, not just the one that I want. Well, <laughs> if it were to bring in a new deck versus... Here's the Satoru. Yeah. We're going to see if we get a uh, draw trigger at all from this guy. But yeah, if it were to bring a new deck in, then by all means, but if it just... Because that's the problem, as we talked just about. Be so free, that'd be the freest thing ever. Yeah, they just oh yeah. jam four of those motherfuckers in yeah. there. Yeah, I, uh, I kind of, you know, the last couple of years. Oh, we're gonna see a grist, and I doesn't want to kill the Satoru. I kind of feel like maybe I go ahead and kill the Satoru. No, he's only on two land though. He needs that mana dork. Um, I'm, man, I'm, I'm gonna pull this up here. I want to say fuck the triomes. I want to say fuck I just, the triomes. I just don't and think modern. there's any way to do it though. I just say just ban them in modern. I, just don't, I, th I don't think they're ever going to do it. They're not, but I think that would be healthy. That, that'd be like the... That's not it. Uh, Satoru Umazawa? Yeah. Or no, the Infiltrator. The Infiltrator? Yes. Right. 
That's the guy. Uh, there he is. Let's get a picture up there so everybody can see at home. Right. What we got we're a dealing grief. With. Oops, that's not the right screen. All right. Grief and play. Isaiah's thinking. Ooh. Oh, we also. So he's uh, evoked a grief. Here's the no mana was spent to cast it. So it's going to trigger a draw. Uh, you know, wanna... Go ahead, draw your card. Now you get to look at Isaiah's hand. Which, this is a good look. <clears throat> and especially with this Dalphy that Brian got to get down. What's the thing on the far... Is that cord? That's cord on the far right. He's got a surgical extraction in his hand. And now we're going to see... Is that Ephemerate? Or a, yeah, that's Ephemerate. So he can pitch two cards. Does he have two green cards? Because he did have Endurance, but that would be like his whole hand. Yeah. So... Well, so that that's... It's not a scam piece. This is why I've always... Oh, okay. He's just I've been, he's ephemerating it? Yes. Okay. I've yeah. always been way more scared of the scam thing when yeah. it's Ephemerate because yeah. it's so much harder to interact with. Just blinking the yeah. fucking thing versus it yeah. reanimating it. Like, it shuts you out from yeah. a lot of answers. I was telling Isaiah earlier, I was like, I want to, I totally want to scam Null Drifter. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's like, it doesn't work. It's a cast trigger. I'm like. No, you draw your two cards. Yeah, I'm like. You don't draw like, a oh, four. Just do that. Like, a dude with Annihilate one? <laughs> Does <laughs> like, it have flying? <laughs> yeah. And it's a four four? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's perfectly fair. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Or wait, is it a four? I don't know that it's a four four. It might be a four four. I feel like it was. I, I feel like it's a busted ass card to be scamming. It's it's a sh yeah, it's a two two for sure. But it's also no Drawsy, so you yeah. know. But it has an annihilator one. That yeah, just, yeah, yeah. That, that needs to be dealt with. And the thing is, what we found uh, seven mana things hard to deal with in modern. Uh huh. Like the, like it just gets oh out God. out of the way of a lot of random removal. I hate touchscreen devices. No, it's a fucking 4-4, four, four, dude. I mean, four, it's four, a 4-4 four, yeah. four flying yeah, Annihilator so, 1. Yeah, so, you know, like, you don't, turn 4, you evoke this, draw a couple cards, get a 5-5 five, five with Annihilator 1 flying in play. That seems fine. Seems yeah, like it's turn. gross. It's gross, yeah. <laughs> That's gross as fuck. All right, so back to the game that seems... Brian seems to be in not a bad place here. Isaiah was able to run away with the game 1. Uh, Brian does not seem... He's been able to do the things he's wanted to do. He's got the value pieces he's wanted to have. Uh, Grist is not long for the world, and Isaiah really needs to hit the Soul Cauldron. Um, Null Drifter should have had Flash. Then it'd be really busted. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope we get to see some uh, processing Eldrazi out of this thing. I don't which, think we're going to. No, no, no. You know what? Why not, though? Because they've shown us an Emerge. They're doing the different yeah. mechanics. Yeah, that's so, possible. That's yeah. possible. I think I think we might, which I hope so. I hope so too. It's my favorite thing about Eldrazi. Yeah, that no drift. All right. Fucking so stupid. bye bye to the Douthy Voidwalker. Yeah, you do need to get that out of there. That's that's a real I thing. Feel like this isn't like the best place. No, Isaiah is not in a wait, great wait, place. What, what is this that he's got? Surgical. He's gonna go ahead and get rid of the Voidwalkers out of the equation. Okay. Um, this isn't a very powerful move. No, but it's something. He's going to follow up with a Grist, I think. John, is this the... Here's my concern. <laughs> You're playing against Persist, the opponent, and you saw Persist in game one, and you have an answer to Persist in Surgical Extraction. And, and spend it on You Dalfi? spend it on a random mm -hmm. thing. To, like this was no value. This was he spent well, one card to get nothing. The Douthy will shut down a lot of what his deck is doing, though. Right, like, right. It is getting, right. It is but eliminating. There, there's hit currently hit. no copies he has to worry about. Yes, that's true. That's it, true. Like I mm. mean, you have to have uh, a conversation at that point. This um, is this is like I, I hate surgical extraction when played. To, like let's get rid of all the things that he might draw four turns from now. You right. Know? Like it, it's just so stupid. Now that's that's the argument that you have to have at that point. Is is it worth getting rid of a hate piece? Or do you keep it as a reactive piece? And uh, I would probably agree with you more so than just getting rid of a hate piece. Yeah. The elemental blast well, in a deck like this, where you know he has reanimate. 
stuff. Yeah. I mean, being able to instant speed snag his reanimate target seems like something you'd want to have. Yeah, going but on. his reanimate targets are not like super sexy, except the troll. You can still deal with this deck can deal with the troll. So, yeah, I'm not sure. It's it's weird. But yeah, uh, Randy, the Elemental Blast is legit. <clears throat> From MH3, the oh, so we're, we're Null doing... Elemental Blast. Well, it's the, the Eldrazi Elemental Blast. Oh, so... The, it hits multicolor things. Yeah, so yeah. The, we're getting a new one. Not The old ones are not Yeah, here, the only thing from, from leaks that has not been legit has been Brainstorm. I oh, think dude, it's confirmed it so that Brainstorm sweet. is if, not... If they, if they would actually do red elemental blasts or blue like if they would actually do those like like that's what we could use if you actually yeah. really want to fight the domain stuff give us just one mana answers to everything well, on our board hey you know what <laughs> fucking reprint the other two and finish the cycle let's do one for everybody <laughs> let's do a green let's do a fucking yeah. white <laughs> like let's do all of them i agree it's just kind of neat all right we're gonna see uh i think that's an ephemerate again we're going to kill it with the ephemerate on the stack. Oh, you can't. What happened? He was trying to kill it with... Oh, no, he's got a bowmaster. There it is. Oh, oh, or no. No, it's just an endurance. Okay. Okay, well, you're still getting griefed. Um, hmm. And he chooses... Ryan. So these cards are going to go in the bottom in a random order. Oh, Grief was... Okay, then he's going to sack it and finish off the Grief with the Ephemerate on the stack. Yeah, yeah. And then Brian says, Persist! <laughs> and that would feel terrible. Yeah, it would. Because <laughs> you used your surgical. Because you're a bad person. So, he has not been able to kill the Satoru, so Satoru is drawing Brian cards. And I'd probably, I don't know, leave him as a blocker because he has protection from Satoru. This is just, like, so much worse than the other than the enchantment. Like, it, it literally only... Or he has Menace, non, I guess, anyway. I mean, it's only creatures entering that you didn't pay mana for. So, like, it, it, it doesn't actually give you card advantage. It just negates your card disadvantage. Well, it gives you card advantage if you are playing with, like, Ornithopters or, like, Violing Shit In or, yeah, like, reanimating yeah, things. I, yeah, okay, yeah. With the re Elementals. Re re reanimating makes sense. Yeah, with the Elementals, like, pitching, you just get a card back. All right, so, so it's not exactly what's, what are you advantage. pitching to this? You have not exiled the card yet, sir. Does he have a card in hand? Or wait, or is it? Did he oh, it must be, yeah, the uh, the oh, okay. Aegis thingy. He just does his, his graveyard exile backwards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hello, being judgmental about stuff like that. Everybody does theirs. I don't know. I, his is similar to mine, kind of, almost. I don't really care what anybody does, just as long as they're not putting their lands in front of their creatures, because that shit right. will piss me off. Or playing their that cards is, upside down. Playing yeah, their cards is, upside down so that, that I can read weird. them is a super annoying thing as well. All right. Isaiah says, fuck my whole board. I'm getting rid of the solitude. But you know what? He's drawing cards, too. So. And that's the important part. You draw cards. Now, I forgot that this Satoru dude does have Menace also. So he's a 2-3 for 2 mana with Menace. Yeah, that's... Like Pretty good. I feel like we're gonna see a combat phase from Brian here. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Like. I guess we may have seen is, a couple. Is he, is he? Is this the beginning to? So, Cryptic Coat does oh, also trigger Satori. Very nice. So very that's nice. that's a lot of okay. there. Isaiah is really on the back foot in this game yeah, right yeah, now. So. Yeah. The that with Cryptic Coat is a really cool. Yeah. Interaction. That's that's pretty neat. No, uh, okay, so this guy's a ninja, so it's supposed to be like a ninja thing. It should help ninjas, but it is not doing that at all. <laughs> no one gives a fuck about ninjas. I wish they were would have worded him differently, so that way, like, maybe he would have helped ninjas become a thing, but instead, he just helps all the existing bullshit and not helps ninjas. 
So ninjas need one thing to to be really good. They need a, a one mana flyer. With ward two. That draws a card when it enters. That's what it needs. It it, it could be a zero one flyer. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if there's... you did a zero one flyer for one that drew a card when it came in, hey, ninjas would be busted. You got <laughs> you got the fucking Tamio from MH three. <laughs> What's that? The O three, the thing that Jerry was going crazy about, the O three that when it attacks you make a clue. Is it a flyer? Yeah, it's an O three flyer. Mm -hmm. For one mana, yeah. That's the ninja thing. That is the ninja thing. She's not a ninja, but flavor wise, goes very well with ninjas because she is a move forward. Yeah. No, this card's like the ETB would be better. Like you know. Yeah. No, I mean, it. so no one's going to, but this dude does really help ninjas, and it's it's uh it's a shame. That in the state of magic today, this card that was printed with an obvious intention is not doing the thing at all that was intended. Because no one wants to do that thing. <laughs> oh, what do you got down there? We got Dreadnought, we got the Founders thing. You want... That's pretty much... Oh, and you got a, a Sour still here from uh, Arrogation. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, what, uh, whatever is most plentiful. I don't, I don't want to take the last of anything. So. Don't try any of these guys. All right. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had this one, so this is good. Founders. Now, I would love to see people play this Saturo in a ninja deck. Because I think ninjas are close. But it's just easier to play him <laughs> with Pedro in the middles. <sighs> I wish those cards would fuck off. At this point, man, mm. I hate those cards so much, honestly. Because you, no one's doing anything without those things. It's just, god damn, I just want more variance. So what would have been dope about Brainstorm is it would have added a deck to the environment. It would have made Miracles a modern deck. It would have added something. Yeah. Something. But yeah. Then we'd have Domain Miracles. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, I can play this with fucking Scion. Then I can put him on top when I don't need him. <laughs> Fuck off. It's it's getting a little out of hand. They try, man. So bless their hearts. Wizards tries to print cool shit to make cool things happen. Just no one does it. That's that's the problem. Like no one does it. No one uses like no one's using Satoru and ninjas. We could. The player base well, nobody's could. playing ninjas. That's the problem. Well, I know they would play. They would play it in ninjas if they were playing ninjas. But they're, but not, they're not going to because of all this other shit. I'm just. I'm just saying. Like, Wizards has given us the cards. They can only design cards so well. Like the, the problem is ninjas certain, needs these these little evasive dudes. I think there's enough of them. I think they're bad. A, they're all bad, John. Well, I know. It's all like a, a fairy that scries and like it's all not. Dude, you sense. know the best. You know, who, you know who the best fucking ornithopter man. That's yeah, a good name. That's just <laughs> you're already down a card because you had to put ornithopter in your deck. Well, yeah, I know, I know. Like you really need like a you dude can, that draws a card. But the thing is, and, like, and also it cannot. Be I don't know. So it. all right. So I was about to say. All right, we've got... Sorry, guys, we're on, like, card design tangents here. Yeah, um, it's fine. It is fine. We all know There's, there's nothing going on here. Dog! Um, so, <laughs> the problem is, though, like, they need to make a really good one-mana card with that's evasive that can replace itself, and, like, as we talk about this, it's like, oh, but would they do that? It's probably too good. But that's the thing about the modern state of the game is the it-would-be-too-good clause for almost any card design you could probably say it's pretty much out the window, right? Because, mm. like, they print everything that's too good. Yeah. So at this point, like, why not print that? Because that would be the reason they wouldn't print a 1-1 flyer that ETBs and draws a card. Yeah. Because they I would say it's too good. I'm not saying it would be too good. I'm just saying well, I they, know. they aren't printing it. So Right, right. But I'm just saying, I, like, they're, that's... they're getting better, though, because I will say in limited formats, the one drop slot and limited used to be like if it was a one drop creature like you just never draft those oh like yeah it was yeah. like a draft pass out and all right we got two not, wolfies. not this set i don't think there's any playable one drops in this set but the last few sets Dude, they have certain there's playable there's one -drops. there's a goblin in this set that i think is actually 
I don't know about playable in limited, but the, it's pretty crazy. The, the one crazy. two first strike, he's, that, that guy's not good in, in the actual in limited. Yeah, that's in, fine, in limited, but I'm just but like yeah. You know, none of the one drops are good, and uh, like yeah, actually, Ashy I've Doc. had most. Ooh. All right, all right. Throwback card here. Yeah, yeah, you got to do that in response because there sure will be no more fetching or searching, which is a big deal for Isaiah's deck. Yes, this it is, is. This is a really good that card. Is, yeah, that is a great hate card against uh, Yogmoth, for sure. It buys you a little life, too, because it's, it's, like it's like a dragon you have to chase. Oh, all right. Okay. So in response, we're going to see this. I don't, I don't know if I like this. That's a little aggressive, yeah. But no, for the uh, the ninja thing, they could just print in one one flyer that ETBs draws a card right now, and it would not be too good. It would be fine. They print way too good things all the time. So like, it, what's it, the fucking hold up? I would say if they did pl print like one one flyer draw a card when it ETBs, like that card would be played in like everything. Like like that would be of any card, any deck that's right. playing blue or it's legal, you just play that card. So and that's where it gets dicey, and yeah. that's why you do it's have just to. Better than preordain, it's better than yeah. <laughs> you. You do have to. You, you got to give them some patience, man, because it's hard to design everything exactly the right way. There's a lot going on. Oh, right. you know, you know, you know what they could do, John. They could do a brainstorm, dude. That's a one mana. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh no no no. Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, what if we make it two? What if we make it two mana? But it's a one three. That's <laughs> oh one two. Oh, one, one two. two. One two flyer. Or make it a one mana thing, but make it two thirds of brainstorm. What if, what if we cut the difference? We make we give it menace. Menace is fair. Menace is actually like super fair evading. And we're seeing a surgical on the solitude. They put brainstorm in a dude once that that dude costs four mana. For yes, like two you can't, can't four. <laughs> four, four, so four I would do honestly. I would be totally fine. Like I would be stoked in modern to see one mana instant speed, draw two cards, put one from your hand on on top. Yeah. Okay. Like, so so like so uh, just not brainstorm, yeah. but still. <laughs> yeah. More good. more like brain sprinkle. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, so we've designed a card. Wizards, get on it. Brain Sprinkle. We expect to see it the next... Uh, maybe maybe it'll be ready in time for Modern Horizons 4. It would be so... That'd be fine. Like, that'd yeah. be so... That'd be so... In Legacy, they'll be playing the deck that has Brainstorm, Brainstone, and Brain Sprinkle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all <Yes>. of them. <laughs> Nothing but Brain. Or Brain Mist. Brain Mist would be There you go. Too. Brain Mist. That's a good one. That'd be the name. Uh, All right, we got a we got a more roots the art for brain mist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, um, Isaiah's got. A little <laughs> Isaiah's bit of like, burn. oh well, my deck didn't really work now, so. Yeah, it's frustrating. Let me read this card again. That's super annoying. <laughs> yeah, haven't seen this shit in five years. God damn it! What is this thing? It's amazing. I don't have real remove. Oh, okay. Oh, that doesn't help anything. <laughs> I don't think you should be doing this. No, anymore. no, he I, shouldn't. I, I, like, I really think this is a mistake. Yeah, you just sit on it. Like, you, you are not a mill. You are not going to win by milling out your opponent. No, you should let that make him answer this thing. Make him attack yeah. it. Keep it alive. That's all right. He'll answer it for him eventually. Yeah. <laughs> is it, what does this card do again? So okay. we got a. Okay, those are all exiled under Douthy. That's kind of gross. Because I, I think they go to the graveyard and then get exiled. Yeah, they do, because it's yeah. mill and then yeah. and then Dalthy should be a replacement effect. Which yeah. is the only thing that can like really uh like if you're in the middle of resolving something, that's the only thing that can kind of come in that, the, yeah, in the place shifts. The replacement yeah. effect. What the fuck happened here? Oh my god. <laughs> Happy gargoyles, we're not. Happy gargoyles? Who the fuck asked for that? Well, I got my card up there, even though it says Abby Gargoyles. Whatever. That's an Abby Gargoyle, folks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. No, it's, it is a replacing. Instead, you do this. All right, we got Yogg. We can get All right, rid of well, this. All right, well, the fact that he's doing that actually makes sense then, I guess, just because he can get goodies. Yeah. But is there ever is there a chance that he's going to... 
Oh, ugh. Ugh. Blech. All right, Isaiah's is pretty fucked here. <laughs> uh, you got to draw a card for that. Yeah. Okay, the ephemerate stuff with this guy is pretty crazy. Dude, ephemerate's so much better than scamming things. I mean, it's... Dude, it is. It's when, the when they, same. I... No, it's not, because you can't... You can't interact with the ephemerate the same way. Like, you could... Sur like, surgical. If somebody scammed a card, you could surgical it. If you had graveyard hate, you could, like... It matters, like... As the guy that plays nothing but white and exile effects, when my opponents would scam against me and I have an exile effect, it's like, oh, cool. Yeah, I'll just get rid of it. But when they're like, oh, ephemerate, I'm like, oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you just, you have so much less to do about it. And then you get it again. Yeah, oh, I... Ephemerate is so much stronger. Oh, yeah. If you play if you play a lot of white stuff, then yeah, I, I guess it's better. Well, it's just like it. Why? Thing, Why are we still doing this? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Like he just wants to. Now it dies because like, are he you gets thinking to about a, turning in your Douthy for a one-two? Because I don't think you are. Yeah. Well, so now it gets to die unless he can get rid of the Yogmoth, which maybe he can. He might have that in hand right now with his artifact. Nope, not that artifact. Different artifact. All right, so at least for Isaiah, Ashiok is going to be down. Well, that should trigger, right? He gets to draw a card because a creature entered? It does, yeah. Oh, and he not if casting. he missed that trigger, it doesn't. Oh, no, he's attacking. Oh. He missed it. Okay, so Ashiok would have been dead, but now he doesn't have a good attack for Yogg because that face down thing is not a human, so Yogg does not get to get through. Um, he's got a bunch of land in hand. Not looking good for Isaiah here. Cryptic Coat's unblockable. There's six power unblockable. Currently. Okay. Well, Ashiok will die at least. I don't know how much that matters now. Probably not much. If he wanted to kill him, he could. Just attacking him. All right. You got, I mean, you got to have a land to play, right? Ryan's so many lands ahead. Why are you not playing lands? So that's going to go under that. One, two. Oh, he was putting native on counter in it. Here's a land for turn. All, right. All that for a land drop. Not just trying to slow his clock. He had land drops. I think he was just trying to get in a little bit more. Yeah, that action. makes sense. Slow your clock. Yeah, it's something. At least, I mean, Brian's not attacking. Hit your, hit your land drop is really important. Brian's not attacking with Umazaw when I feel like. Yeah, he is. He's afraid of that for some reason. I don't yeah, know why. the thing has know. menace. Like uh, yeah. Isaiah's on the, enough of the back foot right now that he's not going to be able to put a blocker in front of it. So yeah, and, and I mean he, I mean he can't cord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's missing so much damage. I'm not attacking uh, with Umazawa. Oh, this fetch land is so bad. I, I just said that. Like oh, at least it has land drop. It's like oh, this fetch land doesn't do yeah, shit. Yeah, it doesn't. Like he, that's the thing. If most of the time, this Ashiok is a trash card, but like, out of the sideboard against a certain number of decks, this one... Uh, when it shines, it shines. I'll tell you what, man. You, yeah. you survive long enough, you're playing against Amulet Titan, this card does work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this... When this thing shines, it really does. Not being able to search your library it does just kind of shut down some decks. Oh, oh okay, fuck. fuck. I'll do another one. <laughs> does this thing only enter with four? Five, he immediately down ticked it. Oh my god, Brian, keep that thing alive. I mean he feels really confident here. He's totally in the driver's seat. He he's I can't imagine how Isaiah is gonna pull himself out of this. You can't block with your Douthy anyway, so you may as well turn it sideways. Yep, there you go. There you go. It's four. I'm gonna Pick up the Crypticote at the end of Isaiah's turn. Isaiah's going to eat 
Ashiok, no counter value, still can't search. Um, Ashiok is going to be able to be attacked, but I assume he has an answer. Dead. Well, maybe not. I don't think he has shit. I, mean, I think he can Isaiah get rid is of just Douthy, but that doesn't really. That's not the sexiest. He needs a creature because Yogg can't sack himself. Right, but he can just discard a card, right? Oh, to proliferate, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, he's probably got dead shit. It's not enough. Really? Because he's got to deal with his Cryptic Coat. That's unblockable as well, but Brian's going to buy him a turn. He's going to have to get rid of that now. Such an awkward game for my, like, no mana dorks this game. Like, just kind of yeah. had the slow... Slow hand. I don't think it works very well, especially when your opponent has some hate. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think he's stuck proliferating here. He's not. He's missing land. Okay, there's a land drop. There's a Takanuma. He's got four. Okay, Water Roots. That's a dude. Into another dude, probably. A float of green mana. I think is what he's doing. Sack it. Not okay. He's gonna do that, then proliferate after. Okay, that's the right call. All right, all right. Ooh, he's uh, getting there. He's getting there. If he can survive till next turn, that'll be nice. Which he should be able to survive till next turn. Um, you need to pro okay, there it is. There's the proliferate. Uh, Umas, I was not dead. That was weird. <laughs> he took off a dice to put on a dice. You realize after the fact. Yeah. Okay. Now, the, the thing that sucks is, um, ooh, and if that comes up, that's a thing. Uh, Yog can now. Okay, there you go. There you go. All right, Brian is going to be picking up the cloak or whatever the fuck that thing's called. Yeah, it's coat. Why is it cryptic cloak? So much more like flavorful as a cloak. Yeah, flavorful. It doesn't roll off the tongue as well though. I guess, but like a coat. It's the it's the CR and then the CL, the crook Like like no, I get it. People Ooh. have a hard time saying that. Ooh, that's a. Good top deck for Brian. All right. Get rid of the thing. He doesn't have any pressure now, is the thing. No, he doesn't. But he's got way more established value than Isaiah does. <clears throat> yeah, a cloak is so much cooler than a coat. I And it is a cloak. It is. It is. Yeah. I get it. Ah. It's it's honestly it's the It's the it's same. The, it's the Doctor Strange thing, is what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Like it's literally that. Cloak, coat, cryptic cloak, cryptic coat. Ah, I still prefer cloak. I think it would have been cooler. All right, Isaiah's got a grist in hand. He draws card. No, I think he missed again. He's gonna go ahead and cash. He in just, this. he's just. Uh... I don't know why he's so hell bent on not keeping this Ashiok around. Now Isaiah's shit's turned on. He's been sitting with a cord in his hand the entire time, so now it can do stuff. We can kill the, the guy right now. Well, Yogg's gone. He's got uh, very, very good cards in hand. Three life. He's dead to combat next next turn. So he has... Well, no, he, he's got uh, uh, Orcish Bowmaster in hand, so he can kill the... the yeah, one, yeah, one, I right? know, but Cryptic Coat is oh, unlockable. The, oh, the, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> it's it, unlockable. It, 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 he is has a, to, it is a 3-2 as well. Yeah, he, he has to answer that right now or he's fucked. If, I don't he, think he can. Yeah, he's fumbling with his cards like a guy who's about to lose. Yeah. By the way, they have one minute left in the round, which is crazy because we gave them like an extra minute. Yeah. So this technically should be turns, which Isaiah can't survive, so...
Yeah, yeah. that's it. You know, it's he funny. Knew. He got to the point where it could actually fetch again, and then it, it was too late. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Brian Williams uh, takes that Mops match. Up. All right. And uh, he... We might we might be seeing a lot of Brian tonight. It's yeah. a it's a light room, so stay tuned. We'll be right back with round two. <laughs> 